Recognized, Emily of Arden, D-1-2. Hello team, and welcome to Intel Update number 18. It's been a busy year, and while we don't have a ton of new Young Justice info to share just yet, we do have a couple of bits of news and some things on the horizon, both in terms of Young Justice and our podcast, that we want to remind all of you of. So, let's update the intel. As of the recording of this Intel update, Greg Weissman has confirmed on Twitter that there are 18 episodes of Young Justice currently completed, seven in post-production, and one still being animated, meaning all of season four's 26 episodes are finally accounted for and nearing completion. Greg and Brandon have yet to share an official release date for Young Justice Phantoms, but DC Fandom is happening very soon on October 16th as DC Comics' big online virtual convention and live stream experience, a lot of fans, including us here at Whelmed, are hoping for some Young Justice news at the event. You can find more info about when, where, and how to watch the event on any of DC's websites or social media. And keep your fingers crossed for some announcements, because if, and hopefully when, any Young Justice info does get revealed at DC Fandom, We'll be doing a big Intel update talking about all of it and sharing our excitement sometime after the event. So you can expect to hear that sometime in late October. While that may be all of the Young Justice info we really have to share today, since our last Intel update, we've had a few new people sign up for our Patreon, so we just want to give a quick shout out to them. To the Beta Squad, we welcome Ryan Keyes. To the Gamma Squad, we welcome Ryan Asimer. And to the Delta Squad, we welcome Dark Superboy and Chris Booza. Thanks for the support, big brother. (laughs) We really appreciate the support from all of our patrons, both old and new. So thank you all so much for helping make Whelmed run smoothly. We have a couple of podcast announcements as well. September is also International Podcast Month, a yearly event where tons of different podcast creators come together to create new and exciting podcasts together. For the event, one of our editors, Richard Kreutz Landry, ran a fan fiction style one shot of the tabletop role playing game Lobsters and Feelings, set in the world of Young Justice's Atlantis. In a fun and very silly adventure with a couple of familiar voices that you might recognize from our show, four Atlantean teenagers team up to try and save a kidnapped King Sha'ark. That just came out on September 17th, and you can find it by searching for International Podcast Month in your podcatcher of choice or by checking out the link in the show notes. We'll also have a link to read more about the game that they played if you're interested. Speaking of our wonderful editors, you can also hear producer Neil over on a recent episode of Farm to Fable, the Smallville Rewatch podcast. If you're a fan of Smallville and what we do here at Whelmed, then Neil says this is a great podcast for you to check out. He's guested on Farm to Fable once each season, and you can hear him talking about Magnetic, the seventh episode of season three in his most recent appearance. There will be a link to the episode down in the show notes. I also have a couple of my own recent projects to share and shout about, so bear with me for a second. If you've enjoyed listening to our recent discussion sessions with Alex, JPG, and Nathan from Inquest of Geek, maybe you'd also enjoy hearing me be a guest on their show. A few months back, I got the chance to talk with them about Young Justice, Masks, A New Generation, and the fun of teen superheroes. So you can find that episode wherever you listen to podcasts or by checking the link in the show notes. If you need even more teen superhero adventures in your life, you can also hear me as part of Protean City's current ongoing event, The Longest Halloween. Just in time for the spooky season, Protean City Comics is doing a big blockbuster comic book event series about how Dracula has descended upon Protean City, and it has been Halloween for over a month now. It is very fun, and you should definitely check it out. In our last Intel update, I also mentioned that I was going to be in an episode of an awesome upcoming show called Dark Valley, but that I couldn't say much more than that at the time. Well, the episode I was lucky enough to be a part of has been out for a while now, and you can hear me as Lieutenant Maple Bannon in episode three of this spooky sci-fi fantasy anthology show. 
A quick warning that Dark Valley does deal with some heavy themes and horror elements, so it may not be right for all of our listeners, especially any of the younger members of our audience. But you can check content warnings on every episode of Dark Valley before diving in and take care of yourself when listening to this really awesome show that deserves a little more attention. Finally, I have one more upcoming voice acting project that I'm so excited to talk about. I am going to be in an upcoming episode of the sci-fi anthology audio drama Breathing Space, Fading Frontier. The episode that I'm a part of, The Greatest Show Off Earth, will be hitting the podcast feed on November 5th, and you can find out more about the show and where to listen by checking the links in the show notes. And before we wrap things up for today, here is a quick reminder for all of our listeners. We're still living through a pandemic. So please, if you are eligible and able, go get the vaccine and wear a mask. It helps protect you, it helps protect your loved ones, and it especially helps protect children and the immunocompromised who are at a far greater risk right now. These are scary and stressful times, and I totally get that. But the only way we get through them is by looking out for each other and helping in whatever little ways we can. So please. Be kind, be thoughtful, be safe. And if you haven't already, get the vaccine. And if you've already gotten your vaccine, thank you so much for being part of the solution. So thank you to everyone for spending some time with us today. If you'd like to join us in discussing this incredible series, you can find us on Twitter at the YJ Files, on Facebook at Crashing the Mode, on Tumblr at thejfiles.tumblr.com, and on our website, crashingthemode.com. You can also find us on YouTube, Stitcher, and iHeartRadio. And if that isn't enough for you, you can also email us at whelmedpodcast at gmail.com. If you'd like to support our show, please consider sharing it with a friend and joining our chats on social media. You can also support the show by giving us a five-star review and or rating on Apple Podcasts or your podcatcher of choice. The ratings, comments, and subscriptions help others find the show. And if you do leave us a review, please let us know at our email address or on social media, especially if you live outside the U.S., since we have to look a little harder to find those ones. If you are able to support us monetarily and want to do so, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash crashing the mode. Even $1 a month can help us bring you even more awesome discussion sessions, interviews, reviews, and more. And as always, stay whelmed, everyone. You've been listening to Whelmed, the Young Justice Files podcast. Our hosts are Rich Howard and Emily Booza. Our editor and producer is Neil Powell. Our theme was composed by Emily Mio. Our logo was created by Kevin Bates. Whelmed is a fan-made podcast and is not officially affiliated with DC Comics, DC Entertainment, Warner Brothers Animation, and any other owners of Young Justice or its related source material. As such, these companies have sole ownership of all symbols, images, names, logos, and proprietary material related to Young Justice. Original content of this podcast is ours under Creative Commons. Thanks for listening, and stay whelmed.